When Tanisha Taylor Bell lost her father to gun violence nearly 40 years ago, the assailants who took his life were boys themselves. Now Tanisha heads a scholarship foundation in her father's honor to put young men on the right path for their own futures and so that other children might be spared that loss. She joins us now. Tanisha, thanks so much for joining us. Thank you, Micah. Before we start about the foundation, tell me about your father, Ezekiel. So my father was obviously a father, a husband. Uh, he was a deacon in the church. And he um, was coming home one night from a revival, actually, and stopped to get some food. And unfortunately, it went the wrong way. He was carjacked and was so unfortunate. Not only was he carjacked, he was robbed and killed um, for mater a material item. And his killers were just babies, just 15, mm. 19, and 21 years old. That was 40 years ago. And this is still happening on a daily basis. Yeah, and that is what's so sad. You know, what has happened 40 years ago when I was a young girl is still happening today. Lives are being impacted. Women are losing husbands and sons and children and, and, and fathers and husbands. It's, 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 it's really unfortunate that we haven't gotten a grip on it. But what we can do is what we hope to do is when you're hurting and when you have tragedy, how do you turn it to purpose, your pain to purpose, your tragedy to triumph? And that is something that while it's impacted all of us in some way, how do we keep moving forward no matter what? And that's pretty much what the Ezekiel Taylor Foundation does to keep kids on the right path. Absolutely. I always think, my family always thinks, what if something happened to those young people who took his life where someone was pouring into them, right? What if they had mentors and they had teachers to keep them on the right path to make them right to help them to make the right choices and so we said we're going to do that we're going to take young people and to say we believe in you we know that you are the kings that you are and that you are leaders in society and we want to make sure ensure that you are making the right choices in life so that is what we do it, it has been successful hasn't it Absolutely. We are really blessed in these five years that we have put countless amount of young men helping them through college. Many of them can take our scholarship dollars and go to schools anywhere across the country. So although they originate out of Cook County, some of them are walking campuses in California and Atlanta and Washington, D.C. and Nashville. They're all over. They're in Illinois. They're in Wisconsin, Indiana, Ohio. Like They're everywhere. We're proud that we're pouring into, the, into them. And we become their village. We're not the average uh, scholarship foundation that just writes a check and we don't know who our scholars are. We know them intimately. We know their families, their family history. We know what's going on on their campuses. We have mentors who are paired with them one on one who we find out if they're having any issues with classes or professors or just life. You know, sometimes you just need someone in life just to help you through things as that's not even taught in a textbook, right? And so we are here for them the entire duration of their college career, and we want to watch them grow from boys to men, and that's what we're doing in my father's honor. Tell me about the celebrity support you've been getting. We've been getting tremendous support. As a matter of fact, you know, we have a new uh, nominated, Oscar-nominated actress, uh, supporting role actress in Ajinu Ellis, and she is one of our earliest supporters. When I launched the foundation, she was like, Tanisha, what can I do to help and to be a part of it? So people like Ajinu Ellis and Ludacris and so many others have come on board. Some of their videos are on our YouTube channel, and they are happy that we are pouring into young black males. Uh, and, and they just see it's important. If we don't give back if we don't help you know who will and so it is our responsibility as the village as the community to say you know to whom much is given much is required this is required of us to pay it for to give back and to help those who don't really by blood belong to us you know it is my duty to help my son because he belongs to me i birthed him but it, it says a lot when you go help other people's children to say hey i'm going to help the community uh move forward and we can do this by helping and pouring into our younger generation so folks who are watching today how can they get their sons involved or how can the sons who are watching get involved in something like this what are the requirements Absolutely. So you can head right over to our website, and it's the letter E, the letter Z, eztaylor.org. And online right now, we have applications for our scholarship program. So if you are a senior, if you have a young person or you are a senior watching this, you can apply to our scholarship program. But we also have life skill programming that we offer. We offer resume writing workshops and classes and things like that. We 
always put them on the website so you'll see them going up quarterly different workshops on how to secure scholarships how to write a resume we've had financial planning workshops we've had workshops you know dealing with mental health especially when COVID the pandemic just happened uh, we had those uh, a couple of years ago so we have a variety of life skill programming program seminars that young people can get involved in and then we have the scholarship uh, applications as well that are on our website so stay close to our website we put that information up there we're also obviously on Instagram and Twitter at Easy Taylor FDN, and you can find a lot of our information on social media that way as well. Tanisha, did you have any idea it would grow this big? No, I didn't. I kept, you know, Michael, you know, I was at CNN for years, almost 13 years as an executive producer at CNN and, you know, growing up in the television industry as a producer behind the scenes. And I kept seeing what was happening in my hometown. And I, I kept saying, God, what can I do to help and, and pay it forward? And I thought this little, small, little organization of a family run organization would just do little bits here and there. Mm -hmm. But we have partners with, I mean, we're partners with the Chicago public school system. We're partners with President Obama's My Brother's Key. Uh, Discover Credit Card, uh, Chick-fil-A. Oh, so we have wow. gotten some great partners that are helping us in this mission. So it's grown right now. I mean, when we put, we've given out more than 100 scholarships, grassroots levels in, in the past five years. Um, and we're just really proud. Like in just in five years, we, we've That's awarded amazing. 100 scholarships to young wow. African-Americans. And we have two and recipients we're going to talk to in just a minute, Tanisha. Thank you so much. Be safe, be well. Thank you. Enjoy. Thank you. The Ezekiel Taylor Foundation Scholarship is available, as you heard, to African-American seniors, young men living in Cook County who will be attending any two- or four-year colleges. It's also open to young men attending a trade school. To apply, visit EasyTaylor.org. And the two recipients coming up right after this.